Hello, good morning, everyone. This is Gail Dudley. This is Gail Dudley with your news in motion. I'm going to wait and see if anyone jumps in here with me. I'm excited to be here today. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, August the 13th, 2020. Hey, Brenda Randleman. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I understand yesterday we froze up a few times. Hopefully that will not happen today. If you are a praying person, please pray that we will not freeze up today. Good morning, Latrice Jones. So if you are praying people, please pray that we do not freeze up today. I don't know what happened yesterday. And if I find out that it's freezing and I have no way of knowing while I'm on here, um, I will, of course, retape it and repost it later. But I like doing it live with all of you that are on here. So let's just pray that it will not freeze up today. Again, I just want to say congratulations to Senator Kamala Harris. Um, the two of them um, la officially launched their campaign on yesterday. Their speeches were dynamic. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, good morning, Antoinette. So again, to all of you who were tuning in yesterday, I understand we had some technical difficulties. It was freezing up. So if you are praying people, pray that it does not freeze up today. If it does, for whatever reason, I will um, do another video and just post it. But I like going live. I like talking to you all. All right, y'all. States have less than 82 days to get absentee um, voting um, in place. Um, there's a lot that's going on. Even here in Ohio, you all know that I'm a resident of Ohio. Even in Ohio, the Secretary of State did a press conference yesterday. Some of it was clear, some of it was not so clear. But one thing that he did say is that he's not putting extra ballot boxes in each community. So I, I don't know, y'all. We know that the mail is slowing. We know that. It has been known. We know that. We know that is a fact. That means, y'all, we have to figure out another way to get to drop off our ballots if we're going to do them early and or um, uh, make sure we are we are registered and we will be at the uh, voting place on November the 3rd. Y'all, we have to be proactive in this. Yes, that means it's going to take a little bit more work, but we have to be proactive in this. Next, um, I find it so interesting that the occupant of the Oval has pretty much eliminated all intelligence briefings from his schedule. What? Who does that? So um, it says that taking intelligent briefings have been declining steadily since his first month in off first months, excuse me, in office, and has dropped to near zero in recent weeks. So he's not even going in for intelligent briefings. So y'all, that's a problem. That's a problem. The Hill reports that Kanye West met with Jared Kushner um, amid the White House bid last week. Y'all, there's something going on there. So we need to even say, okay, Kanye, we don't know what's going on with you. We know you need some help. We know you need some direction. Hopefully your wife will help get you some the help that you need. Yes, you can take them to the post office and wait for them to be postmarked. That is correct. But at the same time, they're saying they're sitting mail in the back area. So, and they're saying they're not even going by postmark dates, but that's a good suggestion. My thing, I'm getting ready to hand deliver mine when it's come times for it. We gotta do something. What's up, Brenda Troy? So y'all, Kanye West is just messing around. He's just messing around. And we need to make sure we are educating our millennials, our young people, and say to them, y'all, don't write him in, don't vote him in. He, he can't even run a country anyway. He's a brilliant musician. He's brilliant in the music and entertainment industry, but he is not so brilliant. I don't, I don't know if I could trust him with my help. I, no, not, I don't know. I couldn't trust Kanye West, Kanye West with my help. I couldn't trust him with um, foreign policy. I couldn't trust him with education. I couldn't trust him. So he's not somebody that I would vote for people. That's just not going to happen. As seen in the Washington Post, the occupant says postal services need money. To, uh, for mail-in ballot, um, for mail-in voting. So we're still here, y'all. He's trying to now block funding that the Democrats are trying to put in place for the post office. Y'all, this, wake up, people. Y'all know last week I talked about removing the scale from our eyes, asking God to remove the scale, the scales from our eyes. We have to wake up. 
which means we have to be proactive. Y'all, in Ohio, and I want to hear from other states, but in the state of Ohio, there's a need of 35,000 poll workers. There is a need for 35,000 poll workers um, on election day, 35,000. If they do not receive those 35,000, and if you heard the press conference from the Secretary of State um, in Ohio, La Rosa, he said they will close polling locations. And hear me, y'all know where they're going to close them. They're going to close them in the marginalized and the low-income areas. We can't let that happen. So together, y'all, we need to go work the poll. So if there's 35,000 needed in Ohio, I told y'all there were 900 that were needed last week in Wisconsin for their primary. Think about your state how many poll workers are needed and we need to make sure we show up and work. Y'all, it's our civic duty. It is our civic duty. As I shared with you last week, I'm thinking about my grandmother. She went every time with pride, with her heels on, her pantyhose, I won't be wearing those, her pearls and her dress. That's how she went. She was a proud black woman going to work the polls um, for voting. And I like what Demia said yesterday. Now, not the P-O-L-E worker, but the P-O-L-L -L worker. So there is a difference. So y'all, we need to do that. And even in Ohio, um, they are looking at 17-year-olds um, to work as well. So young people, they're looking at it as making it a community service and getting a letter for uh, their college applications. There's an organization called pollhero.org. That's pollhero.org. Uh, Ready Publication is partnering with that, with that organization. And they're looking for high school students and millennials all across the U.S., Poll Hero, that's P O L L Hero.org. Please sign up, y'all. Please, please, please. Everyone else, we can go to EAC.gov. Again, that's EAC.gov to register to become poll workers. All right, y'all, we got to stay alert. Y'all know um, we got to get registered. So you can go to IWillVote.com. IWillVote.com. On that particular site, you can also check your voting registration, IWillVote.com. Register to vote. Um, you can go to rockthevote.org, rockthevote.org. You can go to vote.gov. There are many places you can go. There are many places that you can go. Yes, companies are allowing employees to work polls with no loss of pay. So check your company policy. And and hear me, I started looking at the research and I was telling y'all like 110 to $130 for uh, being a poll worker for that day. Now that's in Ohio, but y'all there's a state, it's called California, you get $500 a, uh, for that day. I'm like, uh, let me just fly over to California, be a resident for a day, get the $500, come on back, I'm joking. But anyway, look, Look where you're at. Some are paying for training, up to $50 for training. Some are paying for mileage reimbursement. But even beyond the money, y'all, we just, this is our civic duty. It's our civic duty to do that. All right, y'all, the coronavirus numbers, here we go. USA, remember, I go to the World Health Organization. I bypass the CDC. We have 5,360,302 cases. Now, I'm going to tell y'all about Florida. Florida has over 550,000 cases right now. Y'all, deaths, we are at 169,131 deaths. In Florida, they are at 8,765 deaths. Uh, recovered, which we should celebrate, we are at 2,812,576 who have recovered. So let's celebrate that recovery rate. Now, y'all, again, I'm not just calling out Florida, but this is serious. Florida COVID-19 cases in children have increased 137% in just the past month. Y'all, in children, 137% increase in children just in the last month. In other news, we have protests that were held for what a bur what a burger worker who quit after being reprimanded for her Black Lives Matters mask um, in Fort Worth, Texas, um, and they're like saying, "Oh no, mm -mm, we're not going to let her quit," and so they had a protest. Now, if 
you want to be counted. So we're hearing about the protests, Black Lives Matter. If you want to be counted, make sure you have completed your 2020 census. Make sure you have completed that. There are six groups that have not been counted. And they are going to end the counting at the end of this month. And y'all, we are at August the 13th today. So they're going to be ending the counting. Now, if you know you have not completed that, complete that. You can go to 2020census.gov. Again, that's 2020census.gov. There are six categories. The marginalized, the poor, minorities, people in homeless shelters, people who move a lot and people who are hard to find. They have not been counted, which means federal funding for an entire decade will be slashed, which also means the, con the congressional districts will be rearranged. Some seats could even be lost. Y'all, we need to be counted. So check with your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, check with your church people, see if people have been counted. I'm calling on pastors again. I know we're doing live stream, but I'm calling on all pastors. Make sure you slip that in somewhere in your sermon or your announcements to make sure people have completed their 2020 census. They can do that at 2020census.gov. That's very important. That's very important. From BBC News, y'all, the UK officially is in recession for the first time in 11 years, all due to this pandemic and the coronavirus. All right, travel and leisure, travel and leisure, y'all. Study shows, get this, y'all. Study shows there's a 1,200%, 1,200, 1,200, 1,200% increase in Americans relinquishing citizenship. What? They are relinquishing citizenship. That's happening, y'all. That's happening. For the win, Susan Rice. For the win, Susan Rice. Her words about Senator Kamala Harris, and here's a brief part of her statement. I warmly congratulate Senator Kamala, ha Kamala Harris on her selection as Joe Biden's vice presidential running mate. Uh, Senator Harris is a tenacious and trailblazing leader who will make a great partner on the campaign trail. I am confident that Biden-Harris will prove to be a winning ticket. She goes on to say, as I have said from the onset, I will do my utmost to assist Joe Biden to become the next president of the United States and to help him governor successfully. Y'all, ladies, this is how we do it. We congratulate anyway. All right, the inspirational message you choose, faith or fear, you get to choose. One of the biggest detriments to faith is fear. Fear holds us back. It does not let us act. At times, it stops us dead in our tracks. What are you allowing to stop you? So, y'all, tomorrow is question and answer day. Please start sending in your questions before 3 p.m. Let's really focus that on any question you have about voting. Let's really focus in on anything that you have about voting. All right, y'all, I am Gail Dudley. Until tomorrow, oh, and today's session uh, segment was sponsored by Cassandra Tauver. Um, she is a children's um, author for children's books. You can go to www.cltauver.com -E to order her children's books there. Again, that's Cassandra Tauver. You can go to cltauver.com to get books from there. So excited about that. Um, real quick, y'all, October the 5th. October the 5th is the last day to register to vote, to be able to vote in the November 3rd election. Antoinette, are you saying it's freezing or not freezing? Let me know. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if Facebook is targeting me or not. I have no idea what's happening. Um, and if it freezes, I will just retake this and upload it again. This is day two if it is freezing. So let me know if it has frozen at all. I pray not, but let me know if it has. Um, y'all, we have a lot going on, but we cannot, we cannot stop, y'all. We cannot stop pressing forward. So, y'all, again, fear or faith, one of the biggest detriments, I'll read that again, to faith is fear. Fear holds us back, y'all. This is not a time to fear. This is not a time to fear, y'all. We must go forth with the covering of, of the blood of Jesus Christ upon us, y'all. This is a time for us to rise up. Y'all, and I'm going to just call us out. Black women, it's a time for us to rise up. 
We need to have the back of Senator Kamala Harris. You come for her, you coming for all of us. So y'all, let's stop all the hate. I talked about that yesterday, and I'm going to get emotional again. When I read the news feed of how black women has gone after this woman, it pains me. Because I'm like, I'm a black woman. You attack her, you attacking all of us. And, and just because she has what she has to get to the top where she's headed and who could one day become the president of the United States, you mess with her, you messing with me. And y'all, we need time out for that. And I, I'm, I'm, the reason I talked about fear today, and I didn't mean to go into all this, but the reason I'm talking about fear today is because I think sometimes we operate based upon fear. We operate based upon fear. You are correct. Perfect love casts out all fear. And remember, y'all, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of a power and love and of a sound mind, which means he did not put fear on us. We have taken fear ourselves. It says God does not give us a power of fear. He does not give us a power of fear. Now I'm going to get excited. He does not give us a power of fear, which means when we take on fear, we are taking that on ourselves. We are putting that upon ourselves. He did not give us a power, of, a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind, y'all. Come on, y'all. We got to do this. We got to get people registered to vote. We got to talk about voter reg registration. We need to talk about voter education. We need to talk about voting rights. Y'all, we need to do it. The post office want to slow? No problem. Those of us who have transportation, let's pick up people and take them. Just wear your mask. Do whatever you need to do and get them to go to, to, to deposit their ballots. If you have requested an absentee ballot, this is one thing that I found out. If you have requested one and you have not received it, don't keep requesting it. If you keep requesting it, they are flagging you. They are flagging you. They're thinking that you're trying to get more than one ballot. So y'all, if you're not getting it and you have requested the application for your absentee ballot, Call them and say, hey, I requested on this date. I have not received it on this date. Now, from Ohio, the Secretary of State um, uh, La Rosa said that they'll be going out and that the majority will go out the week of Labor Day. I don't know. I don't know. So, so do what you have to go to your... Um, to the uh, voter registration place and get the information you need. Y'all find out the answers. Please do this. Y'all, we're in this together. I am Gail Deli. Don't forget tomorrow's question and answer. Please send your questions in before midnight, Latrice Jones. Latrice Jones, don't do that today. Send your question in before 3 p.m. today and I'll make sure I'll answer as many questions as I possibly can on tomorrow until tomorrow where I will show up at 7.25 a.m. I am Gail Dudley. I got to run over to IG and do the same thing there. So until tomorrow, peace out.